Hi everyone, welcome to our exciting new series all about the circus. Today we're going to dive into the amazing world of circus vocabulary. We'll be discussing all, uh, all the different types of performers. You can see in a circus from clowns and acrobats to jugglers to mimes, rope walkers, and a whole array of um, jobs you can see at the circus. We'll be describing who the person is, what the person is doing at the moment, and if the job is interesting, boring, safe, or dangerous. Okay, but that's not all. We'll also be explaining amazing uh, animals you can see in the circus, like elephants and seals and tigers. And then a quick revision of the vocabulary which has been done. And finally, the students are able to design a wonderful circus tent and present it in front of the class. So let's get started. So the first, like I said, we will be having some flashcards like we have in Visual English. And we'll start asking the kids questions. Uh, what is a circus? What can you see in the circus? Do they like to visit the circus? Do they go to the circus with their parents or with their friends? What exactly is this? Is it a big or a small tent? And who is this person? What is he doing? And describe the job. So we, as I said, will have different types of jobs. Describe what the person is doing, who the person is, and describe the job. And if it's interesting or boring. And uh, we continue onward. So we have acrobats. What is the acrobat doing? And is it an easy job? Is it an interesting job? Safe job? Dangerous job? And, and etc. So let's continue onwards. We will be focusing on juggling. If, they, if your students can juggle. Magicians. And uh, what are they doing? Can they perform magic tricks or not? Uh, is it easy? Is it difficult to be a magician? An animal tamer? Is it safe? Is it dangerous? Is it uh, possible for you to be an animal tamer? Mm -hmm. And then we have fire eaters. And of course, describe what the person is doing and what uh, what kind of job is it? Easy, uh, easy, difficult, safe, dangerous, interesting, or boring? So once we finish with all the jobs, talk to strongman and mime. We even have a short film here. We'll wa watch a film you have here at Circus Animals, which we'll be describing. And um, after describing the animals and what the animals, what type of animals this is, it will be a revision on animal vocabulary. And then finally, like I said, at the end, the students are able to design their own circle stand and uh, present it to the class. Once we finish this, of course, we have our Word World platform where uh, you just have to log into the platform and you have different types of games. So here you have a quiz where the students will answer the questions according to the quiz. And of course, we have the animals, uh, animal revision. So the students have to match the word. This is definitely not a cat. It's an elephant. So we'll have to drag and drop the animals to the appropriate pictures. And of course, we have a film with Steve and Maggie. Steve and Maggie will be describing the clowns, if they're tall or short or slim or fat, etc. And we have a wonderful uh, BB, uh, British Council story about going to the circus. And uh, there is a worksheet you can come up with with this story and, and, and ask the students the questions with the vocabulary run to this unit. So that's it for today's lesson. We hope you enjoyed learning about the circus with us. Be sure and check out our video about clowns. We'll describe all the costumes and personalities. And um, thanks for watching and we'll see you next episode. Bye.